guys so today I'm going to show you the boys bedroom this is by far one of our favorite rooms um, on the door we have their initials J and R we love it and when you walk in um, you see Jeffrey's bed first we've just got a bin of stuffed animals in the busy block because he still loves that um, we put some cars decals above his bed in his cross from his christening and then some pictures these are mostly of him that one is of him and Robert and then we have this nice window, which they love, and they love the little windows, so they line up all their cars. Um, we do want to get nightstands for them. Robert actually is using the Lego uh, bin for a nightstand right now. And we actually only have one chair. Robert's broke. So we're down to one chair, but they're kind of too small for them now. So we will be getting rid of Jeffrey's, but we're just waiting till we get nightstands. They have this rug that I believe we got at Ikea, like, years ago. I think Jeffrey, I think I was still pregnant with Jeffrey when we got this one. And then you have Robert's bed again. We did the we did the minion stickers and his cross. His bed, he loves pillows and stuffed animals and blankets, so he has a lot more. He actually has, I think there's like his minion quilt, or his minion comforter, a quilt my mother-in-law made, and the Red Sox blanket. And then these ones on the side that he still puts up, where Jeffrey is much simpler. And then I got this sign, which I just uh, loved. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It says, little boys are just superheroes in disguise. It just made the room look so much better. Again, I got a picture of him. And this they actually made last year for Christmas. And Robert said he wanted it over his bed. So we put it on his bed. And then we have our Mater sign, our frame that my husband got years ago. And then again, we got some toys over here in the corner. And then their closet, which is not very big. It's actually... It's a small closet, it's okay though, because it works fine. We have some bins with toys in there that we rotate out in there, other stuff. And then over here, we have their bureau. They do share a bureau, they each have one drawer. And then we have like an extra drawer that's got like the next size up or some, actually right now it's got some like fleece pajamas for when it gets that cold. And then the bottom one is actually all books. I believe I've shown this before. I haven't changed it much. And then the top one, because it's so small, we just keep their oils for their diffuser, some pull-ups that are for bed, underwear, socks. And then up here, this is Jeffrey's piggy bank. He actually, we had this at my shower and just a plain lamp. I got this at Target actually recently. Um, and that's Robert's piggy bank. And <laughs> this is a hat from my husband's work. Only because the only way, like all these cords were not long enough to make it down to the plug, but like I just didn't want to leave it like exposed. So I kind of made it all nice. I would like to get, my goal is to get like a vase or something and put it upside down or a big mug to cover it. And then like maybe put the diffuser or something on top of it is my goal. But for now, it covers it quite nicely. And it actually looks good because it's like, a, it's a boy room. So it works fine sound machine and then over here again we have another mater sign and we have this old bookshelf that has been mine oh my god forever i probably have had this for like 15 years i used it and then in the other house my mom used it and now we're using it again as you can you can even see at the bottom it's like so rickety it actually is pretty sturdy we did fix it but it's so old but it works great their bins fit in there they have their cars we have some cars like play sets up here and then Another thing we did is I utilized under their beds. So I'm going to show you. So that is just a, bin, a bag of bigger clothes. It's like one of those space bags. This is all of their cars stuff, which is really cool because they can pull this out. This one's actually on wheels. And I have all of this stuff in there so they can just pull it out and play with it. It's so easy. And then we have another bin of toys that they pull out and play with. And then we have a couple more cars things under there. And then Robert's bed is more actually Legos. I believe all over here is Legos. This is, um, they have these like mini Tonka cars. And then we have an actually, that is empty. All those over there is Legos. That's actually an empty bin front of the bed. We actually just purged toys recently to get prepared for Christmas. And uh, we ended up with an empty bin, which is nice because I know they'll be getting stuff. And then we have these two bins that can stack, but actually work great, right? And they fit under the bed and they can pull out. So Robert's, all of his big trucks are in there. And then these are ones they use all the time. 
This is you put little cards and it goes down. The boys really love this. And then they each have a bin with stuffed animals, which I need to go through because I know there's some that they don't like or are kind of rickety, but that's pretty much it. I actually absolutely love their room. They love their room. They are in here all the time. They love playing in here. They destroy this room and that's fine. Um, but yeah, this is their room. By far one of my favorite rooms in the house.